Guys, I have a question. Does my tail look big on this angle? Well, that depends on whether you're trying to fit into jeans or not. <laughs> Bella, what's wrong? <laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking about Will. I don't get him. One minute he's hot and the next minute he's cold. I'm thinking... Oh, I'm... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... Didn't mean to what? Well, I'm going on about Will and you and Zane. Me and Zane, nothing. We've gone our separate ways and it's fine. Uh, no one describes a breakup as fine. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? I've got no cafe to worry about. I've got no staff to worry about. I am a whole new mermaid. Yeah, I can see you. It's coming. It's a uh, banana, right? No, 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 you stupid piece of junk. Stop! What did that poor blender ever do to you? It's broken. I'm sending it back to the shop. Maybe I can lend a hand. OK, everyone, listen up. This is Sophie. She knows how this place runs, and she is the new manager. New manager? Yeah. So all staff stuff goes through her from now. I'll be out back. I've got it covered. Thanks. Um, no, that was meant to be mango. Your mind's not on the job. That was your last shift. Sorry about that. That was awesome. I'll get you a fresh one. Hey. Can I ask you something? Do you mind? No. Hey, I thought you'd spent your allowance. Now that I'm working, what I do with my money is none of your business. Ah, uh, you have a job. Mm -hmm. At the cafe. The new manager there said I have a great future. <laughs> doesn't make sense. All the girls in the world he could choose. He picks her. And Ricky being gone, what, five minutes? No, it's all right, honestly. Zay can hire whoever he wants. Hey, guys. You can't be serious. Well, no, I just won't step foot in there, that's all. Well, maybe we should all stop. The band can find other places to gig. No, please don't change your lives just because Zane and I broke up. Oh, I'm meant to be down there now for a sound check. Watch your back. Hmm. OK, does someone want to tell me what's going on? Your sister's the new manager of the cafe. I want the staff to help me with a total makeover of this place. I'm not here to make friends. If someone can't give me 100%, they're out. But you can count on me. 200%. Good. Not so sure about the rest of the staff, though. I'll keep my armor for you. Let me show you the ropes and you'll go far. Over there, I think. And after that, the toilets will need a good clean. Sure. What on earth's going on? Well, I don't know, but this sure ain't rock and roll. Don't touch that. Sophie's making some style changes. Well, they don't leave much room for us on stage. <sighs> Is there a problem here? Yeah, the uh, new look doesn't really suit our music. In what way? What was wrong with the old setup? Yeah, what's all this junk for? Zane has given me the authority to revamp this place and not a moment too soon. I'm going for a tropical beach coma type feel. I love it! Hey girls, for you. I like the new look. 
And you look great up there. I hope so. What's that smell? Uh, must be the flower. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> Ah, uh, sorry guys, let me try that again. One, two, three. Always wear four. gloves when preparing juices. There are three speeds on this blender. Never use the top one. Kim, are you paying attention? Your eyes are all puffy. Yeah, I think it's high fever. Thanks, but no thanks. Yeah. I'll get rid of this. Sorry, guys. Can you tell it's on again? Sound checking. There's no point. Turned down. I don't think so. Let's do our encore number. I turned all the drinks into jelly. <coughs> this is a disaster. I've lost control. So, normally, when you sneeze, you don't... Turn everything into jelly? No. It's a first. Well, on the upside, I think you may have just created a new dessert. It's got to be those flowers you're allergic to. What a Sophie. You should see someone about it. Well, I can't exactly go to a doc... Bless you. Go to a doctor and tell him that my mermaid magic powers are playing up, can I? True. We'll get rid of those flowers and you'll be fine. Oh. <coughs> it's all right. We are going to help you. Well, oh, you've had a big day. And the place certainly looks different too. I made a few changes. I hope you don't mind. What? Um, I'm glad you're here. This looks wonderful. Satori family secret recipe. Of course. I've lost my appetite. But it's your favourite. It used to be. Well, what's changed? Did anyone see Cleo wash her hands? 
In fact, does anyone ever see Cleo wash her hands? <laughs> of course I do. This is ridiculous. Is it? When up to a million germs can be shared through bad hygiene? You never had a problem with my cooking before. Oh. That was before I became a food professional at the cafe. Sophie says hygienic food handling is our number one priority. Well, if you knew what Sophie was really like, you wouldn't be following her around in the first place. Oh, you know. A lot more than Sophie you. Sophie manages a successful cafe. You just feed dolphins smelly pieces oh. of fish. <laughs> I'd rather work with smelly Girls. fish all day than... For once, I'd like to enjoy a meal in peace. Sit down and eat. No way. live like this. Kim's on a power trip, Sophie style. Hey, Sneezy. Shh, I haven't, you know, in at least 12 hours. Wow, maybe you are just to look to Sophie. Maybe we all are. What are we? Oh, nothing. I was just telling the girls that my sneezing is completely out of control. Water is one of the few substances that actually increases in size as it cools. Today, we'll be measuring how much expansion takes place. You okay? Yeah, just testing. Measure the volume of water in your beakers, pour it into the vacuum flask, and compare that to the increase of volume as it freezes. I told you there was nothing going on. Incoming. Who's responsible for this? Um. Uh, I am. Sorry, this was supposed to be a joke. Right. Not funny. Clean it up. Bella! I don't get it. There were no flowers this time. There must be something else setting it off. Fix it soon. I can't go to school. I can't go out. I can't do anything. I might not be normal again. Don't worry about it. We'll help you work it out, won't we, Ricky? Yeah, well, maybe you can just live in one of those little plastic bubbles. And what about the band? It's not their fault that we're going to lose the gig. Well, you're not going to. How? Because... Because... Because we're going to get your stand in. That's what you need. Someone to step in until we figure all this out. Like who? Well, well it's got to be someone who knows the band and all the songs. And a close friend. Someone that you can trust to step down once you're better. Someone like... No way. No way! I go. I'm a little, like, oh, rusty. <laughs> you sounded like a cat dying oh. painfully. Isn't the idea to entertain the customers? <laughs> Not to make their ears bleed? It came with my close and personal attention. Your sister is going to be carving up the stage in no time. Straight up, how did I go? <sighs> Baby face. You're the best shot this band has. So, Bella seems to be all right for a while, and then something happens, which <coughs> sets her off again. And it started at the cafe. You say Sophie's been making some style alterations? If you call palm trees and frangipani style. Well, if it started there, you have to be allergic to one of those. But there weren't any flowers in the classroom. But if there was a window open, it could have been something in the school garden. So, we find out which plant sets you off at the cafe, we get rid of it, 
and then you're cured. I am willing to try anything at this point. All right, let's do it. Why don't you wait here? We'll let you know what happens. I can't hide from Zane for the rest of my life. He says you're hiding. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Kim will take your order. Bella is sick, but I have discovered a very talented replacement. Come on. No way. Kim's already warned me about her. Oh, just give her a go. Honestly, you'll be surprised, and the audience will love her. OK, but if I don't like her, then you're all out of here for good. Hey, baby cakes, you're gonna be a star! Do you really think this is a good idea? Yes, absolutely! Now, just one quick thing about the wardrobe. Basically, just wear something short and tight. Short and tight? Okay. Over here. Um, I think. I'm not asking you to think. All right, we'll check the pop plants first, then the decorations. Thanks, Will. You've been so good through all this. I'm gonna sing you a little song. We get the song. How about some car wheels? <laughs> In a minute. <laughs> Figured it out. What? The sneezing. Here, so. No offence, but take a shower and no more of that aftershave. What is she doing here? Tell her to leave. No, no, no. Leave Ricky alone. What's in your hair? We're trying to look professional here. I mean, it was me all along. Who are you trying to impress anyway? Turns out Will's aftershave has some kind of extract in it, which may smell good, but isn't very mermaid friendly. I smelled it at the boat shed, it made me sneeze as well. I guess you're just more sensitive to it. One, two. Hi. Please. Please. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, we would like to play you some of our songs, if you like.
job? I've been thinking. There are employees in the world, like you. And then there are people suited to do bigger things. I'm not going to take another job unless I'm the boss. That is a terrifying thought. <laughs> hey, um, I got you a little something to thank you for your help. I have to say. <laughs> thanks, but I should be the one making it up to you. The part that I don't get is why the smell was only affecting me. I mean, the others were around you too. Um... Yeah... That might be because... When we're in the same room, you're always the person I stand closest to. What did we miss? Uh, we were just testing for mermaid allergies. Okay, what do you think? Perfect. Very nice. Uh, Ricky? Uh, uh, Jim! Uh, oh, wash this off. I don't feel a thing. Neither, I just figured he could do with some payback. Oh. <laughs>